picture file, and then the video snap. It does take the video snap a minute to load up. So this is great because you get an instant image when you're scrolling fast, but then also when you wait, you get that video if you want a long hold. You do want to update to the, to the best, you do want to update your RetroPie, go to RetroPie setup, make sure you're connected to the internet either plugged in or on Wi-Fi and you want 4.3 or better. If you want to update, go ahead and update RetroPie script. Once you've done that, go to basic install and then do another basic install and um, that'll um, update your Pi to the latest, um, to the latest version. So you definitely want to do that beyond at least 4.3 or better. The next thing you want to do is go to Raspberry Config. And then you're going to go over to interlacing options, select, go over to the right, select, and you want to go ahead and enable SSH. Would you like to enable it? Say yes. You could do a quick restart from here, but I don't believe you have to. So let's just go ahead and restart this. And then I'm going to go ahead and move over to my computer. You do want to go ahead and get WinSCP. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Just get the download for your Mac or Windows. Go ahead and download it and uh, install it. Regular install is just fine. First load up win SCP, you should see something like this. For host name, you're just gonna type RetroPi in all caps. For the username, it's gonna be PI lowercase pi. And then for the password, it's gonna be raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Then we're gonna go ahead and press login, searching for host, and you can see I'm now in my Raspberry Pi. Once you're in your Raspberry Pi, you're not going to be able to see all the folders I see here. You're going to have to go to Options, Preferences, go over to Panels, go ahead and Show Hidden Files. Go ahead and make sure you click that box there, press OK. And then now you should be seeing what I'm seeing here. And uh, what you want to do is go into Emulation Station. And uh, inside there you should see some game lists. And the game lists are each system in your Raspberry Pi has its own list of games and this is where your metadata is stored and where your file locations are stored so let's just go ahead and take SNES for example and let's go ahead and open up our game list and uh, you can see here we're opening it and here you go so inside here you can see we have the image file the image file is in the home directory pi emulation station downloaded images SNES 2020 super baseball USA all these files the marquee the video the image and the ROM all have to have the exact same uh, font, spelling, everything, okay? So this is where you go in and you edit the XML file to add your images and video files. You might be wondering, well, how do I get that? So this is the master file there. But if you go back here and we go back again, you'll see that we have downloaded images. And when we go into SNES, this is where all of those images and marquee files are. So the marquee, we have the image, we have the video file. And as you notice, they all have the right name or their dash video, dash marquee, but dash image. Some people store them here. Uh, some people also store them in the ROMs folder. You just have to tell your game list back to this XML file. You have to tell it where you're storing it. So when you have the image and the video on there, it should work just fine. So here it's under game list is the XML file and then inside is the um, downloaded images. Um, as far as the games themselves, if you go into home, Pi, retro Pi, ROMs, and then we went back to SNES, we would be able to see that the three ninjas kickback USA is the same here as well. I guess the first game is um, 2020 Baseball. Okay, there you go, 2020 Super Baseball USA. And if we go here, we have 2020 Super Baseball USA. See how the name matches exactly? It tells you where the path is, where the ROM is stored. It also tells you the path where the image, the marquee, and the video is. So people have been asking me, how do I do a box art and a video? You have to have both the box art and the video with the same appropriate name guided to that specific ROM. When these are broken, when you see no image or no video, it's because either somebody, there's a mis, like even if this, I add an S here, or even if I add a dash right here, that's gonna throw the whole thing off. 
So that's how specific you need to be. It has to be exact and the files need to be in the correct path. Okay. So you would, if you would, um, you could go ahead and transfer all sorts of things on here. I can go from my desktop and drag over ROMs. I could drag over the video files. I could drag over the um, artwork. All that is easily done through WinSCP, just logging into your Pi, transferring it over the network. Once you've done all that, you just want to return to your Pi and restart. All right, so once you've done all that stuff, um, you know, it's just that simple where you have the logo and then the video snap. Logo and then the video snap. Picture file and then the video snap. Um, you go into UI settings, let's say you want to turn off the videos, that's very easy to do. You just go over here and do uh, basic only or detailed, I believe. I think detailed, you still have the snaps though, let's see. Yeah, detailed. Detailed only shows the box art, will not play the video. Let me just double check that. Yep, so no, just the box art and then the UI settings and uh, basic, I believe, doesn't really work well. Yeah, you don't want basic. Basic turns it all off. And then uh, video is automatic. Video and automatic are the same. Automatic just picks the best option, which is video. So, go back in, Star Fox, and then the video. So even though we're saying video, it's still gonna show the box art, the, the .png file first. Box art, and then the video. Box art, and the video. I think this is great because if you only have videos, it does take the video snap a minute to load up. So this is great because you get an instant image when you're scrolling fast, but then also when you wait, you get that video if you want a long hold. And then this image also has screensavers, so if I just don't play with it for a while, the screensaver turns on, which is another cool addition as well. All right, so here we are. Now we're in the screensaver, it finally started. And it's just gonna rotate between games here. So another way you're using your video snaps to make your RetroPie experience more custom, more cool. If you press any button, uh, it should just get out of here. If you press select, it chooses a random game. If you press start, it loads that game. So if I press start, it should load Yoshi's Island. Let's make sure this loads. Boom. Nice. There you are, we're in Oshi Yoshi's Island all of a sudden. Cool, start select out. So there you have it, that is the Snaps. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.